Today, I would like to explain the Hardinger approach to the hip. Anterior lateral exposure to the hip. Hardinger, a brief video. Indications. Hip joint replacement. The indications that necessitates the anterior lateral capsulotomy. Disadvantages. Strength of abduction is regained slower after an anterior compared to a posterior exposure. Note, the Harding exposure is an example of ex example of the family of anterior lateral approach and has some similar to the several other anterolateral exposures including myolimited approach discussed below. In general, the anterolateral exposures vary principally in the manner and effect of releasing the insertion of the gluteus medius while taking care to avoid the superior gluteal nerve, which is typical, typically runs 3 to 5 cm proximal to the tip of the greater thoracanter. See figure. See location of the gluteal superior nerve and the model of uh, gluteus medial splitting. Two uh, different types of splitting is shown here. See another kind of splitting uh, model. Patient is placed and supported in the lateral decubitus position. However, the supine position is also acceptable. Skin incision. The 14 to 16 cm skin incision centered over the greater thoracanter and extends approximately 6 to 8 cm distally along the anterior aspect of the thoracanter and down an anterior lateral aspect of the femoral shaft. Proximally, the skin incision extends 6 to 8 cm line with the fibers of gluteus maximus muscle. Figure. The iliotibial band is entered and split distally, and the gluteus maximus muscle is split proximally. The gluteus maximus is retracted posteriorly and transfer fascial lata retracted anteriorly. See figure. Note, if the gluteus is separated from the tensor fasciolata muscle at the site of their interface, the iliotibial band may need to be further released posteriorly to dislocate the hip. Technique The deep exposure begins at the anterior margin of the trochanter and extends distal to include anterior third of the vastus lateralis muscle. See figure. Approximately, the incision extends about 4 to 5 cm past trochanteric tip and splits the gluteus medius musculature in line with its, fi with its fibers, fibers, separating its anterior one third from the posterior two thirds. Effort is made to maintain continuous of the sleeve of muscle comprising gluteus medius and anterior portion of the vastus lateralis. Pitfall. To avoid injury to the superior gluteal nerve, do not split the gluteus medius more than 4 to 5 cm proximal to the tip of the trochanter. See figure. The interval is developed by superior releasing the anterior oblique fibers of gluteus medius from the trochanter in line with the remaining anterior fibers of the more proximally fan shaped portion of the medius musculature. The anterior third of the vastus lateralis muscle is elevated from the trochanter and proximal femur for a distance about 5 to 7 cm. The sleeve of, tissue of the tissue containing this portion of the abductors and the vastus lateralis is then reflected anteriorly and retract retracted with a narrow Hoffman retractor. 
the gluteus minimus muscle is detached from the anterocanter, beginning anteriorly and separated from the capsule to extend needed for educate exposure. A curved Hoffman retractor placed over the femoral neck facilitates the retraction of the medius and minimus musculature. The capsule is excited anteriorly, placed over the femoral neck, and future release of the lateral and inferior aspect of the capsule is performed as needed. And the hip is dislocated by external rotation and flexion. For this exposure, the leg may be placed in a sterile pocket anterior to prepare the femoral channel. Closure. After the procedure, the musculature is closed with the side-to-side -side running non-observable stirs. Thanks for watching my video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.